Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you already know what this is. This is the ThinkPad Advanced Stock Model 250310U. Yes, I had to write it down in my hand because the model number is so darn long. But basically what this allows you to do is use a desktop size graphics card with a older model ThinkPad. There's a couple different models that this works with. Specifically, I believe it works with the T400, T60, which we have here, um, and the T500. The reason I'm not using a T400 or T500 is because with the T400, um, I ran into uh, some memory issues. I couldn't address more than two gigabytes of RAM, I believe, in the previous video that I made about this docking station. Um, so I gave up on that. I could never figure it out. Uh, some people did post some possible solutions, but I couldn't get those working. Uh, so we ended up going with the T60, and that's what we were going to be using for this video. So once again, there are a couple previous videos on this docking station, and if you want some more info on this docking station, uh, I will put the links to those videos down in the description because this is a really cool concept, way ahead of its time. And even with today's technologies, you're going to be hard-pressed to find something as seamless as this. I mean, yeah, we have those uh, Thunderbolt external GPU enclosures, but to have it built into a docking station is a whole nother level of just ease of use, you know? So you're on the go, you're using your integrated graphics in your laptop, or you're uh, running around going to school at a coffee shop, whatever, whatever. Uh, and then you come home and you need a little bit more horsepower, you just drop this down and boom, you have access to a desktop graphics card. It's that simple. There are some limitations with this, so this is only going to take a uh, single slot I believe when we tested it, it was a half-height uh, GT 1030. Um, so when we drop in this 1080 Ti, yes, this is a 1080 Ti, um, we're gonna have to kind of botch it a little bit. We're gonna, it's it's gonna look really messy, uh, but we will be able to get this 1080 Ti to work with this docking station. Now you're probably wondering, why the heck are you doing this? Because you've already tested this docking station with a GTX 1060. And that's exactly why we're doing this. So when I initially did this video, I want to test it with the best graphics card I could get my hands on. And at the time, all I could afford was a GTX 1060. Well now, these GTX 1080 Ti's are finally starting to go down in price. I picked this up for about 450 bucks um, on eBay. On the new market, they're still ridiculous, like 800 to 900 bucks right now. It's just absolutely insane how these things have not gone down in value on the new market. It's I, mean, I could never afford to buy one new, um, but on the used market, that's a different story. So I finally managed to get my hands on one, and today, I want to test it out with this docking station. Now, I did have a, a different video planned initially, but I'm waiting for parts to come in from uh, out of the country, so it's going to take a while. Uh, so I decided, hey, let's give it a try, because I really want to use this GTX 1080 Ti. So I'll stop boring you guys, I'll run a time lapse, we'll throw everything together, and then we'll see if there's really any difference between the performance on this GTX 1080 with the advanced stock uh, versus the performance of the GTX 1060 with the advanced stock uh, because this whole setup is just one massive bottleneck. We're only running three gigabytes of RAM um, in the uh, IBM T60 along with a Core 2 Duo. Uh, and to make matters worse, the PCI in this is PCIe X1. So we are just strangling the crap out of this card, uh, just like we did with the GTX 1060, so we might not see any performance gains at all. Uh, but hey, we have a GTX 1080 Ti, we had the advanced stock, I thought it'd be fun to see. It is many, many hours later, and this is what Firestrike looks like running on a IBM T60, paired with a GTX 1080 Ti. So, this setup is even more botched than when I set things up with the GTX 1060 because this card requires a lot more power. And the thing is with this channel, we don't have that sort of equipment just laying around. I don't have like a 600 watt power supply with two um, eight pin connectors. What we had to do is take two power supplies and this is absolutely a fire hazard. I know that. Um, this, is <laughs> this is just a rat's nest over here. But what I had to do was take uh, this power supply, which does have a 6-pin connector on it, uh, and then I hooked that up to a 6-pin to 8-pin adapter, and then ran that to the card, uh, and then with this power supply, uh, this is even worse, what I had to do was take a Molex to 6-pin adapter, and then connect that to a, sorry, that's, that's over here actually, and then connect that to a 6-pin to 8-pin adapter, which runs to the 1080 Ti. So we have two power supplies, 
hooked up to the graphics card at the same time, running at the same time. It took a lot of work, and that's mainly because the Seasonic power supply that we were using at first was a dud, and I did not realize that until I broke out a multimeter and then tested the 12 volt rail, which is uh, getting 11.2 volts. So that's trash. So I had to cannibalize this power supply from uh, that gateway machine sitting over there. So now we are back in business. GTX 1080 Ti running with an IBM T60. And as you can see, it's currently, do I mean, it's you, you can clearly see there's a bottleneck. But, I mean, a solid 60 FPS in Fire Strike on a laptop with a Core 2 Duo and 3 gigabytes of RAM? That's not too shabby. To my surprise, the GTX 1080 Ti did perform noticeably better in some games and synthetics. I figured with this configuration smothering the 1080 Ti, the results would be identical to those of the GTX 1060. Now, don't get too excited, the differences aren't night and day, so don't get your hopes up for turning your ThinkPad T60 into some sort of gaming monster. But, the $300 price gap between these two GPUs will actually buy you a slight performance increase um, with some synthetics in games, but as you will see, not all games and synthetics are created equal here. This was sort of implied already, but I didn't mention it explicitly, so the testing platforms for both the GTX 1060 and the GTX 1080 Ti are identical, well, almost identical actually, so they were both tested using uh, the advanced stock with this exact same Lenovo uh, slash IBM T60. However, with the 1060, I was using a different solid state drive. This time I was not able to track down that solid state drive. It has gone missing. I think I used it for a build in the past. Um, so we are using a different solid state drive for the 1080 Ti, but I don't think that's gonna make too much of a difference here. Uh, anyway, so starting out with Fire Strike, while the 1060 hovered around 30 to 35 FPS, the 1080 Ti ran the benchmark around 10 FPS faster. Initially, when I did this voiceover, I classified Doom as running faster on the GTX 1080 Ti. But, now that I've gone back and looked at the footage, I realize that it's really too close to call. They're both running at about the same frame rate, so I'm gonna call it a tie here with Doom. The most notable improvement was in Crisis. The 1080 Ti managed to maintain an impressive 60 frames per second for a little over half the time. There were some points in the gameplay, for example here, where the frame rate with the 1080 Ti actually dipped down to 45 to 50 frames per second, but then as we got along, uh, it jumped back up to 60 frames per second. While the 1060 was lucky to get above 40 frames per second, oh god, it just hit me. I said an impressive 60 frames per second with a GTX 1080 Ti on a game that's over 10 years old. This is, yeah, this this is one heck of a bottleneck. Now, to no surprise, as I first expected, there were some tests where the 1080 Ti made no difference, and in some cases actually performed worse than the 1060. In heaven, though the 1080 Ti achieved a higher max frame rate, it actually scored lower than the 1060. In Passmark, a similar story, the 1080 Ti also scored lower, and it ran Battlefield 1 just as bad as the 1060 did. So, what's the main takeaway of this video? Well, there isn't one. This was all just senseless fun. I had a GTX 1080 Ti, I had the stocking station, and I had a Lenovo slash IBM T60. We threw them all together, and we got this video. So there you go. That is a GTX 1080 Ti paired with a laptop that is over 12 years old at this point. Once again, I did have a different video planned for this weekend, but unfortunately the parts for that video have gone missing and have not arrived yet. I don't know if they're ever going to get here. Um, so it might be quite a while for that uh, initial video that I had planned. And that video will involve a little more GTX 1080 Ti goodness. Uh, and it will actually have a point. So stay tuned for that. I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, but that will be coming out within hopefully the next month. Um, I know I zoomed through the gameplay footage and the benchmark footage uh, in this video, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back uh, and give you a little bit more footage of the uh, benchmarks and games running on the GTX 1080 Ti paired with this T60 because I just, like, you got like 10 seconds of footage for, for each of them because I was just flying through there. So here's that footage. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, senseless fun video. And I will see you in uh, hopefully under a month.